are you you're here for later right so you don't have anything now right okay perfect okay. somebody sent a message saying maybe i ought to be here at five thirty. oh right oh yes because i thought you might want to be i did say no names <laughs> Uh, okay, Ryan, come on up. Awesome. Yeah. Um, couple things. We got. You have to tell us who you are first. Oh, uh, Ryan Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to meet you. The nine one one signs we did over five hundred of them like a month ago. Oh, great. We got roughly 200 left and finished the whole thing. 200 left? That's great. And from what I could gather, it's going to be $3,500 roughly to finish the town. So I need to know if you want to keep the one or where we're going to do for money. Do we, don't we ask for money at town meeting for those? They had a line item about at one point every year, but it wasn't very much because they never increased it. So we weren't doing very many. And then the last couple of years, they took ARPA money. Yeah. He gave us a bunch of money so we could right. get them yeah, done. Yeah. Because we were only doing, I mean, they never increased the budget and the science prices went up. Gotcha. And then they got rid of that line, I guess. I don't know. So that's why I'm asking what you want to do. So how much about how much more do you think it's gonna be? About thirty five hundred dollars. Okay. To finish the whole town. And I was gonna put out a when we before we order them, I was gonna put out things for anybody that wants big sign that hasn't had them yet. So we can order them all in. Yep. <clears throat> then we're gonna be done with it. And then I think we should I think it should be in if you build a house, you need to by a sign, so we'll add that to the yeah. permit or something, yeah. possibly. I okay. So they were doing. I thought they were going to do that before, but okay. Well, we'll check on that. Okay. And that's something that we would have to push to the DRB. Well, could that just be the zoning thing? Could Steve uh, say building permit? Could Steve just put the DRB? The DRB would be it. Yeah. So well, they have to do something to have to vote on it soon. As a DRB tool. Put in to add into it. I would assume. Why wouldn't we put it in our zoning when they come for a building permit? Right, the deep done with the RV control that now. Don't they control the zoning? Oh, it's, a, it's the planning commission, isn't it? No, planning. One of those two committees. <laughs> yeah. One of those two committees. Right. They control the. I would assume that would be a policy change. Right. It is going to yes. be. Yes. Right, but I don't think we control that policy. For the <laughs> for our Hyde Park stuff, we couldn't do add that. To our building permit? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. So the bylaws are created by the planning commission, proposed to the DRB, and then the select board approves oh, them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, yeah. so everybody's involved. Oh, in everybody's involved. Oh, I that <laughs> oh my God. Everybody got their hands in it. Yeah. Great. I tried building the house here once. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never do it again. <laughs> okay. They are in the process right now of Amend updating the bylaws. And that would be a good time. That would be a good time to throw it in there. Okay. Yeah, it would be. And so do we have to put that suggestion to someone? I would assume, mm -hmm. to see if, or one of us can send that. Yep. Get on yeah. that. And I would. Put, I mean, we can, <laughs> we can tell them where to get the sign, but I don't. I wouldn't be more prepared to let them go buy it. Right. It's part of because otherwise we're going to somebody's going to go to Montpelier to pick it up or have to pay for shipping. Or, yeah. So it should be on that. It be on the homeowner from now yeah. on. And Chastity? Yeah. I want to introduce myself. Hi, Ron. <laughs> Ron Rudensky from Stone Shore. Um, your 2019 911 ordinance requires all homeowners to install a 911 sign within 60 days of notification from the town of the new number. That number is usually included in the zoning permit. So Steve McDonald should just take a little extra step in the issuance of permits and remind people of the ordinance in the 60 day period. Oh, good. It was already there. There was something out there. Cool. Okay. 
No, I didn't know. I thought we'd put something out there. And in Jen's memo, there's what we have left for ARPA money. So why don't we just finish up the signs with ARPA money? Well, because we have other ARPA stuff that is coming up. I don't know if we... Yeah, I think we should wait to 43. Right. Yeah, you got to look here. I mean, we, you got yeah. time to figure it out. Because yeah, we'll you probably, have to we'll do it until next year. Next. Yeah. So we could right. put a line item and you could when, right during budget that. season yeah. and talk about it. You could, right. No, so like we need the money now. We need them. I'll order them this winter or whenever. Okay. We can just have them for next spring or whatever. Okay. okay. So we will. So you finish for this season and picking up again in the spring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we when give them money. If right. we give them money. We just need money. <laughs> when we find them money. Right. Well, the only area that needs to be done now is Garfield Road, Garfield, okay. Crumbly Hill. Okay. That way. That, okay. Pretty much. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they really, a couple of days they did like 500 something or something. Great. <laughs> um, and then I guess we're going to talk about the addition under there. Okay. Um, and then we'll look at the plan. So it will mean nothing to me. So maybe Matt could look at the plans in <laughs> Savannah. <laughs> 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 That's just everything. Yeah, this is a firehouse as well. Yeah, that's what it's right there. Yeah, so this is the existing. Yeah, so this is getting coming into the new building. This is the ad. This is the ad. This is the ad. Yeah. 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 On tractor, and he said go between three hundred fifty four hundred dollars a square foot, which puts you at about six hundred fifty thousand dollars. Six hundred fifty. That's for your to get your you'd have eighty eight bathroom. Add on to the base. Just I don't know if you ever been in there, but it's pretty tight. You'd have a bigger meeting room so you could for your. People that come stay. Emergency, oh, emergency, emergency shelter. shelter. Yeah. <laughs> so we'd have a big area for people to come reduce the shelter. We'd have two bathrooms, we have two kitchen. Everybody. And shower has to go in too, right? Yeah. Yeah, 80 the yeah that's 88 great. shower. Um bathroom. Two <clears throat> two eighty eight shower component options. One. One. <clears throat> Which the shower would be handy too for like we get back from a structure fire. It'd be nice if the guys could go in and take a shower instead of bringing all that crap to their house for their kids. Yeah, you have the option. So I talked to Jen. She reached out to the bonding company. Okay. These are the three options. Okay. So you probably understand more than I do. <laughs> I don't know. You have to ask her. That one's five years. The five year is the fire truck. Oh, so that's not me. Yeah, no, the ten and the the ten and the twenty year are okay. So that's the fire truck They're for the three twenty five. Right. Well, how much you bring to us? Jeez, this is the fire truck that we are using. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to figure out how to pay for it. <laughs> Go on. Okay. So this one will be that's 10 years. Okay. This is for the fire station. Okay. This is the fire station. That's the reason not there to go to the this is the other one for the fire station. One's 10 years. Oh, 10 years, years, years and 20 years. Okay. It should be something that has to go to the orders, I would assume. Yeah. 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 Yes. But we also have the opportunity to write for a grant, right? Yeah. And in the meantime, this is something that we can 
possibly start talking so about. I at least plan to be reaching out where and there is experience out there for the ADA bathroom section portion of it. Yeah. So that she could probably reach out to get a grant for something like that. Right. And she asked if we could do that before the additions up. <clears throat> I don't have room. Right. I'd lose my I'd lose all my meetings there. Right. Because right. she didn't know if we could do it two phases and I was like, oh, I'm not really. yeah. But she said there's money out there for that part of it. Oh, okay. And Ron actually said there's a lot of money, there's money for there all the time for the right. ADA parts of it. So my okay. thought is we could maybe put someone on chasing some grant money, maybe Alicia, maybe, I mean, between now and tax. Mm -hmm. so I would think that we would try to see what we can get for mad advance. Absolutely. Before we just go to the town before. So. Mm. Thoughts? No, I think that's fine. Yeah, no. And that that's he's you're, you're still involved in this one, right? <laughs> just staying out of it and just you know, you're, you're still the emergency <laughs> management court, right? right. No, I, you know, he's doing the full work. Yep. Yeah. Um I just didn't put it out to bid because I don't want to waste people. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to make sure we could fund it before I okay. actually well I think you've done the legwork here and I think now it's time to put it into grant research. Maybe we asked Ron to spend a little bit of time on it. Or... Ron, you're, you're still going to use that for money, right? For that, for that. Hello. We can still use that. We don't have any. It's all spent. <laughs> all that eight thousand dollars. But you know, we we, we bought other equipment with it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but didn't. We, we paid for the we paid for the design I think out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah say right. we paid for some of it out of this. Yeah. yeah. The design. And and there was a yeah. Because the ARPA funds have to be spent before this project could even yeah. come to light anyways. Correct. So the North Side, the North Side Park got forty million. Yeah. Um Ron, we're talking about the addition at the Hyde Park Fire Station um, and looking into grants for that. Do you have thoughts or comments on that? Yeah, this is, it reminds me of the um, highway garage a project a couple <laughs> of years ago when the um, select board got to this particular stage, saw the price and said forget about it we'll come up with a modified kind of homegrown fix which has been ongoing for five or six years now so i think the board has to make a decision to go all in basically and prepare i guess a funding stack is one term where you have multiple funding agencies that you all try to build up into one project to reduce the taxpayer cost uh, at 650, I think Ryan mentioned mm -hmm. um, adding ad adding even you know half of that in as grants over 20 years will be pretty manageable cost on a bond. Um, there really isn't if you want to accomplish everything that Ryan was talking about. There's not a lot of options. The building costs are just that crazy right now and I don't think they're going to change much so if the if the town is serious you have to make one one or two choices you know to move forward you either go along with Greg Paz's work try to get a high level of certainty in those numbers and begin the bond process which um, from a bonding schedule to get it before the voters in March backs up all the way to November so you're you really don't have a lot of time to decide to go that path. You have enough time, but you don't have a lot of time. Uh, if the board feels like you can do parts of it and not the whole thing, you know, that, I, I don't, I don't know if there's a plan B. I, I think Ryan has been working with Greg and his and uh, Greg Paws and the officers to come up with this particular plan that serves the next, you know. I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 years. I asked Ryan if there was an extra bay. I don't think there is. I think this is just oh, getting the, made longer. Yeah, they're made longer for better stacking, you know, better storage, but there's no growth in that $650, you know, 50,000. So, you know, 
what what are the needs of the town? I mean, if you're going to go 650 and you want to do a 50 year station, not not be able to predict the future, but do you need an extra bay? I think that probably the only thing that's missing from the plan is potential for another bay. I think the combination of things helps with grant funding. So ADA improvements, EOC improvements, um, ha having the safety of the firefighters probably will, will be there because of the restructuring of the internal garage space. So you have a whole bunch of things that do lead to grant eligibility. Um, I don't, and I haven't heard any particular time frame of need, you know, like there's an emergency or there's a non-compliance issue. This is really just about uh, trucks getting bigger, space is not small, uh, not having uh, certain things that the town needs for consolidation of emergency services at that location. So ARPA money, state has a mitigation grant money, things like that do have a, a lifespan. They, they all have to be obligated by this December 31st. So if you don't have a contract or a purchase order by the end of the calendar year, you'll miss out on that opportunity. Potentially, you, if you wanted to elevate Greg's works, Greg's drawings to more, I, I, I don't know if you need anything, <clears throat> if Greg is comfortable with being on board all the way through a bid package, that I think you're almost there if you can agree it to the scope of the work. And that, and that's what I meant about serious. I, I haven't heard, you know, if it's been a fire department proposal, but the board members are the ones that pretty much have to make a decision either now or in October to move forward with some kind of funding. I don't think you're going to have enough in, in the works or enough, enough information for to access ARPA money which had less strings than normal funding, but there is still normal funding and you would have to wait, uh, kind of use calendar year 2025 to explore those grants and then come back to uh, voters for the uh, any residual borrowing amount uh, at town meeting 26. So that's, that's kind of what, what I see is that it's, it's late to really push through an approval because uh, you you basically could go to the voters for the whole dollar amount of six hundred fifty thousand. Let grants sort of sort themselves out. Don't award the project until you have grants sorted out over the calendar year, and then when that result comes in, then you only borrow what the net amount is. But at least you have the voter approval. But you, you're the ones that have to go to the voters and say this is the right time for this project at that amount, and that's that's kind of the next decision to make. No, knowing that in order to tie it into town meeting day, you only have a couple months to to get on that funding train. Now, we agreed on the design, correct? I mean, we kind of left that yeah. with you enrolling yeah. in. Rolling. Yeah. And what, what the needs would be for an emergency shelter. Okay. I mean, that would be the whole purpose of what I think is to put the grant on is the emergency shelter. Portion. Absolutely. Not I think, do, I think, I the think you could do maybe like a firefighter safety to get a shower because they're big on washing your gear all the time. Yep. You know, having a washer and a dryer in it, it, it you wash your gear, exactly. take a shower before you go home. I, I don't know that I feel too, right? right. That's, I don't know that I feel real comfortable going to the town voter to for another six hundred thousand dollar bond personally because we just went twelve months ago for a six hundred thousand dollar bond for a fire truck. So it's <clears> going to be a lot to have one point two million dollars worth of bond set in front of your voters. I think I think when the taxpayers here, they never said no to the fire department. Any any emergency things or right. shelters or anything like this. I mean, this town we gotta have. Well, one. well, yes and no. You have it because the fire truck is only a three hundred thousand dollar bond. Correct. Right. 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 Exactly. But, I mean, yeah. yes. Um, Ron's point about another bay potentially is. Do you have any? comments on that and that do you think that that would be needed in the future 
you ain't got the room there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's. I just want to know. Okay. I don't think you can. So it's not even possible. But you got septic on one side. Okay. But the advancement of this does give you, and there is a potential that someday we might need a ladder truck. Right. I mean, we have a massive structure right here, and right now we run off of mutual aid. Sure. If one was to catch on fire, we're relying on oh, oh, everybody. There's, there's really, stuff. everybody, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. You need a ladder. You got a stall that ladder truck. Right. Yeah. You got air right, but I mean, you're talking. So you're relying on those. So that this this extension does give us an opportunity to have a bed. If you would, you could. Oh, okay. So, okay. There's an upgrade, you know. Perfect. I'm surprised they don't want smoke. I thought they bought one. Right, I would think. Okay, so then the plans are we're happy with, right? That's our options. Okay. Okay. For what we have for area there. And we utilize pretty much all the fire factors we possibly can. Okay. Okay. Without going into the wetland fire. Okay. So you feel so after this addition, if you need to add more, we'd have to go up. We'd have to go either up or <laughs> another go up and elevator <laughs> right? Or another meeting space upstairs. Yeah, but then you're talking elevators, but or the neighbors to get something right. right. Remove it. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a swamp. Yeah, 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 but I mean, no, you know, he says we don't want to help permitting, you know, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, but this would that, be good that, for that parking lot, the town, yeah, fire department. That's actually Tom Woods. Oh, yeah. right, yeah, part of it. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. some of it must be handless, right? Yeah, part of it's that, that right yeah. here yeah. needs to be straight down. Tom doesn't own that anymore. Yeah, he, uh, my uh, Hannah does. does. Right. Yeah, my friend does that lives up back. But they own that should be something that should be straight down. Yeah, they wouldn't. Yeah. In the future. Yeah. Because it is kind I've of heard, funky. I've heard they put their driveway up the road a little bit. I know it's really. And we can have the whole parking lot. It's not yeah. really that convenient, no, right? Because we got to make sure that we don't block that, their driveway. Right. Up. The one up the Eden house, the other ones that bought that. Well, the house behind, somebody else wants that. But yeah, she, the one that bought Rollator's old place, bought where I live, that whole thing right there. She bought it. Okay. So they're the ones that own the park and park about. No. No, the, the house that that up behind that built. Oh, they, yeah. They just, she just had a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Said, she was pushing. I'm like, hey, it must be Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so I guess another thing I got on that. Okay. <laughs> is I pay sixteen thousand dollars a year for water that could go towards that bond bowl if we drill the well. How much would that be? Sixteen thousand dollars. They lowered it. It used to be twenty five. <laughs> they dropped it in half. Well, not quite half. Wait, what is it? No, what did you say? You pay sixteen. Sixteen thousand dollars a year to have water. Oh yeah, for the walk. Yes. So if we decided to drill a well for fifteen thousand, you'd have sixteen thousand dollars right there to go towards your yeah. your loan payment. Something to consider when we're building, okay. if we build. I think we toss. You know, I know we've been talking about it for. Did they ever there. meter that, Brian? They nope. never metered that yet? No. Nope. Because we met them up there on that meter. No. Nope. Nope. There's nothing there. Okay. Okay, so first step is do we approve the plans as designed to move forward? Suggestions? Oh, wait, so, Ron, you're saying that we can go ahead with things as planned and then apply for grants and then only bond out what is left of the project? Right. Because okay. he's saying you've got a short window. Yeah, okay. In order well, to, go to do for it, a to do it to this do, year. To, right. To put it to vote. Right, right, put it to vote March. But so we can he's like, you could just put it in for bond and then go for the grants and only borrow what what the grants don't okay. We could do an up to vote, you know, right. bond vote. Yeah, well, yeah, that's correct. A lot of, a lot of the um, article, you know, the article that would go to voters is for the 100% cost, engineering, contingency, everything that you possibly could think of that would go into a new total, which could be the 650 number. Mm -hmm. And then during construction and while grants come through, you may have to pay all that out because you're borrowing that money. But the long term bond is the net amount for the 30 year, 20 year window, whatever, whatever your term is. 
He said, you waited another year and you could have got you more. Right. The way prices are going, I'm just changing. Okay. So what would everyone like to do? We need it. We do need it. Uh, uh, emergency shelter is only getting more prevalent. Yeah. Again, like, I, I don't want to make a vote tonight that says we're, we're going to go ahead and spend some gas and oil. Well, it's up to the taxpayers. I, I the taxpayers. Absolutely. I'm comfortable saying that I approve those plans. We've looked at it enough. The emergency mm -hmm. coordinators looked at it. Okay. The fire department guys looked at it. Yeah. We agree. We need. Do you have anything to add, Rolly? Do you? I'd like to see that at least Nancy continue to follow through, even if it means what they're happy for you know, it, because it's an average. She could. She did reach out to me. Wanted to know how much it would cost for back and forth. And if we could do it, we could do that part now. The other part later, I'm really. Okay. All I do know. I do know yes. this. Their experience. That's it. Down the road, this is all going to have to come into play. We're gonna to have to do it eventually. Right. We're gonna be forced. It might be five years down the road. Right. It might be six years down the road. It might be two years down the road. Yeah. Yes. Eventually, we'll be forced into it. That's I I agree. Okay. But we still we still have no type part. That's still our right. But that's trying to be eaten and no type part. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I just want to know. Yeah. Um, we do have. Remote attendants, Kim Moulton, Allie Judkins, and Michelle Chapman. Okay. And Jen. And Jen, okay, perfect. So we don't really need, do we need to vote on anything tonight? Not really. Well, I, think I don't know. I, do. I think, I think, you really I think we, need to, uh, we need to accept it. I mean, the first step is accepting it. Then what we're going to do with it is what we do next and, and you come back with. But I think to accept the plans as okay. designed. Let's strap the article and well, go and over then we... the grant writing. Grant searching. Okay. End of story. Sure. Okay. Would you like to make that motion, Matthew? I just did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do I have a second? <laughs> I'll second it. <laughs> All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. You Vote. Stay. I got a second copy. I helped them draft them when they were sitting over the table. So I'm we got it. Did you get all that? <laughs> He's getting it. <laughs> you want to make more clear for me? Talking about a bean. I didn't see a bean or anything here. Hey, Chastity. Yes. I just for the online viewers, when Matt is sitting backwards in his chair away from the mic, we can't really hear him. So I'm not sure what the vote motion was. Matt, can you? They couldn't hear you very well. I can repeat what I wrote. Okay. Yeah. So I have a motion by Matt Moran to accept the design draft fee article for town meeting and investigate grant availability. That, that is what I said. <laughs> Ron's grinning. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not that it's a friendly amendment, but. Uh, Jen and the town attorney need to be engaged for bond preparation because it's a very legal statutory process to do that. And there's a bunch of resolutions and certifications that all have to be done the right way with the right warnings on the right time schedule. So there, there is a very mechanical process for bonding. On the grants, I, I, I think that's just an assignment to somebody to come back to you at you know as soon as possible with an outline of potential grants you know that kind of thing so just just to be clear about who's doing what and what time frame so we should reach out to at least camp clancy <laughs> and ron <laughs> for potential grants we will talk to jen about and I think we and the keep, attorney. I think we just keep this one on the on the agenda, agenda and make sure we're tracking this prior to our March town meeting. I mean, yeah, that's a good idea too. Yep. This been this one's been walking what for two years now. Huh? Yeah. Or, well, yeah, I mean, it, it, at least two years. Yeah. we need to come and talk about it. Later. It was almost a but year ago. Are they going to move forward, or we're not going to? Right, yeah. it's time to make a decision. Okay. Good okay. I think that's it. Right. Done with us? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, highway. Mark, come on up. I have a note. Okay. From or an email, more or less. From Dave David Sandridge. He followed up with an email. I can read it if you would like. Sure. Hey, good evening, Justin. Thank you for sending the email about the meeting. I forgot about my niece's 18th birthday dinner. It's tonight, so I will not make the meeting. I appreciate the fact that Mark came out and had a conversation and listened to my gripes about mowing. Yes, they are within their 25-foot right-of-way, but a little farther down the road, they didn't mow those banks or the trees that are within the 25-foot right-of-way. Further up my property, they were beyond the right-of-way, which I point out to Mark by... I don't mind that part of my property being mowed like that. Never was it arguing the 25 foot. It was it was the fact that they did not that they did to my property, but didn't to others on the hill. Frustrating at that time, but something that I have dealt with after mine and Mark's conversation. Please feel free to share this at the meeting if you can. Thank you, Dave. Thank you for going and talking yes. to him. So that was all within the limits of our ditch, on the back slope of the ditch, in the ditch. So when I measured that, in places that were might have been out of the right of way, we will stretch our boundaries when we're in the power line right away, because they have the right of way. So sometimes we'll stretch it there. Down below, I really don't know what he's talking about where we didn't go the right of way. I mean, if it's Trees like this, no, we didn't take them down, so I don't know what he's talking about there. Okay. It's not that we're picking on any certain individual. The other complaint we had down on probably Park Road at the intersection, we've had many numerous complaints from Thompson Hill as far as sight line looking up the hill through the years. I got a phone call asking how much trouble will I we're gonna stir up if we mow it. I said paying right away. You know, we've got to pay attention to her. Think about the complaints we've had and the sight line problems not being able to see till you know, you're pulling out in a blind kind of a hill corner. And we stayed in our right away there when I measured it. Okay. They were 25 feet from center. Has anyone followed up with him? No. One of us need to. No, you did, didn't you, Susan? No, I, I but I didn't get, I don't know that. He, Yes, but I don't know if he got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. One of those. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we'll make sure. Okay. And avoid, but yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll follow up with him again tomorrow. Okay. Put that on my note to do. Okay. I don't think I can because we have the same last name, but I don't know how they did, but. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a conflict. I didn't <laughs> conflict of interest. Okay. Good thing to stay away from. <laughs> those conflicts of interest yeah, yeah right <laughs> that was the reason why when that name came through i'm like well i got the same name i probably shouldn't respond to that one so okay do we have any other roadside mowing issues no. discussions okay and we're done with it okay hold on mm -hmm. i have a road issue oh okay i have a question about trombley hill where the culvert was redone um, right next to um, the barn in the house, um, Megan, I only know her as Megan Eisenhart. I don't know what her, her married name is, uh, but it's right at the top of the hill, right before Menashe's property. Um, do we know when that's going to be filled in with either pavement or what is going to be done before winter? Because, man, that thing is a doozy. The update I have is, well, we fixed it today, filled it in this afternoon, but... The update I have is Thursday, Friday, the culverts will be paved, and Monday they'll be here to pave Centerville. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Well, oh. they, we'll see if they stick to it. That's what I got. <laughs> That's what I'm planning on. <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay. And I've got another, just our salt contract who just came in. Oh, okay. Which cargo came in at? 91.75 a ton and compass came in at 94.19 a ton. So I will suggest going with the 91.75 if we can do that and authorize somebody to sign it. Ron usually signs it in the past. Oh, do you remember what it was last year? 
91. Yeah, I was, was, was going to say it wasn't much stayed pretty close. 91. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's close. Do we, how many tons did we buy last? You probably don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. Come on, Mark. I'm off the top of my head. Jeez. Not over our budget, put it that way. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> The center no pavement, what's getting paid? Can we just recap on that? I've had like three people ask me this week. So it'll be from, which I call just before Bordeaux's farm stand. Yep. Up just, will it be just past Mountain Estates? But just yeah. past it. Okay. So I'm going to try to get just past that just because all the traffic turned in there now. Yeah. <clears throat> so I yeah. want to get just, so we'll extend a little bit. There, and then North Hyde Park Road from just north of Benson Road down to the so, intersection of the old Bordo Farm. Okay. And we're supposed to do the, they're supposed to mill out or key in and do, and we're supposed to have money put aside for that patch at the Centerville Color. Yeah. That's supposed we, to be. We did not get it from this contract. Right. Yeah. I don't know if we have. I don't know what we did that. 12? Maybe? I think, I think, I think it was like 12. Had, I think we held something 10, like that. 12, something like that? Yeah, well, I have yeah. yeah. Cargo is 9175. And who was the other one below now? 94 or something. 9419. Give me compass minerals. Someone want to? I'll make a motion for you to sign it. We don't need a town manager to sign it, right? I mean, uh, no, I can sign it. Yeah, she can sign it. I, I, you, you, we need salt, right? We all agree we're going to salt the roads this year. Uh, yeah, yes. Let's <laughs> let's be in agreement on that. Yes. Second. Okay. <laughs> all those in favor? <laughs> Opposed? Abstain? Okay. Perfect. Um, class four roads. Do we want to talk about that again? It's <laughs> 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 an open ended question. You can't see that with a funny head inside. I think it's a great discussion to have. Okay. I just think we're too late in the season to do much with it right now. Very true. Okay. You know, I don't want to, somebody we, assumes that we're going to plow and turn around. We, we needed our turnarounds. Okay. I think we're going to, I did, think it's, you're talking about one. But I think as a group, I think you take a priority to this. We do. Better, and mm -hmm. I think that we start we need talking to. about what we're going to do as a group. I, I know there's been a lot of talk about throwing them up. I, I'm not a huge proponent of throwing them up just because I think it doesn't. People pay a lot of money in taxes and whatnot. But maybe we need to look at what you, what, what we're providing. I providing agree. Providing to a single landowner. I think we need to start looking hard at that. <laughs> we're providing to a group. I think that we need to, we need to come up with what we're going to do. I that, agree. That's a, a definitely a forward discussion. Uh-huh. A list. Start that. There are quite a few roads in this one house. Yeah, yeah. we have money live there. I know. I know. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. They, so they used to be farms, or they used to be yeah. right. Be that, it's, I mean, we're talking it's, years and years, right? Yeah. But know, I, so. I don't okay. think it's time of the year to just tell, hey, we're not going to plow it, whatever. Absolutely. I don't think it's, yeah. To be fair, okay. I think it's a great yeah. discussion okay. that should be had. Perfect. Over time. Let's right. add that. And People we'll, can know next fall, next so, time. Right. Other arrangement project. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, clean fill policy. Are we okay? We'll move along on that. Okay, do you have anything else? Yes, is there any way we can push the signs ahead? Push the signs ahead. What do you mean? The discussion on highway speed limit signage update. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe that. So long. Oh, that's fine. Right. That was, that was <laughs> the first thing I, I like said that we should do when I came on here, and we still are talking about it. Nothing happened. <laughs> I think a lots of lots happened. Well, I don't know where the With policy's the at. I don't know if anybody knows where the policy's at. I know Brent was working on it. I don't know how far he's got with it. I have no idea where we're at with it or if anybody knows. Where we're at. Okay. We need then we need a list to figure what that speeds out. we're gonna be looking at. So I can what really so really that list going. Actually, Ron, I think you might have been part of that too. So that might have gotten lost well, in the whole yeah, transition. Been going on for a while. Yeah. Okay. You're right, we need to, of course, we can't put signs in either, but. Mark, do you have a, um, 
a request to spend a certain dollar amount before the end of the calendar year. Uh, I believe the board did some ARPA money for that. Mm -hmm. 16, 16 grand, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Uh, 16 grand. Since the board is since the board has already approved a dollar amount from ARPA, can the board authorize Mark to just carry on with that purchase without coming back to the board as long as it doesn't exceed 16? Well, Ron, I need to know what they want for signs. Right. I need to oh, know, no, what, I'm not, I'm, I I need to know the ordinance. I didn't skip that. I meant you need to work with me to do the purchase order, but not to have to go back to the board. We already did we, that. We already agreed on the speed limit weight based on pavement and not pavement. So we even talked about that. We did. Let's and go I thought back for a minute, it. figure out what we need to do. And then we'll, tonight we need we to figure out, we need to find the, the notes on that because we yes. did do that. <laughs> yes. And then we, you, it's already been approved. The money's been approved. So then at that point, you can just order the sign. Right. Let's go back through the notes and figure that out. Right. Mm -hmm. How many needs at 35 yeah. and how many at whatever? Right. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. I think that's it for me. Can I ask a quick question? Can I ask? Sure. Um, can Garfield Road at the intersection for Cleveland Corners and Garfield get a reduced speed sign? Because apparently the way it's posted at 35 after the reservoir corner is not legal because there is no reduced speed sign. A different road. I think that we have a list of roads that were priority alley and yep. then others that we were going to work on. Yep. I was just throwing it out there while y'all were talking about it, because gotcha. that's what Officer Watson told me, that it's hard for him to enforce it because it's actually not legal because there's no reduced speed sign. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. <clears throat> Thank you. Hey, Ron, you're up. What you got for us? Oh. Hold on just I just have a side note. I think for the purposes of my continuing engagement with the town, we're uh, we're already under contract for grants and project management. So if the board's cool with that, we don't need to change that. We'll just carry on with that existing contract, even though I'm probably likely to dabble in some other administrative things, not directly tied to grants, but um, hopefully minor. And on these other grant projects, the, just a really short summary, we spent, I mean, Jen and I and a whole bunch of state agencies, federal agencies, were all kind of catching up with where Brent had left things. <clears throat> some things are needing attention others not but the biggest thing which is paperwork so this the every grant agency requires uh, authorizations for people in the municipality to act on the town's behalf so whether you call that municipal project manager like vtrans whether you call it the authorized rep to sign contracts or amendments there's a whole bunch of those on your 20 plus or minus projects. So in order to true those up, it's going to take a little bit of time. I started last week trying to figure out what the needs were and VTRANS uh, staff, there's three federal funding grants that are out there, said, here's what you need to do, which is a, uh, the only way to deal with it really for contract administration is to do an addendum to the current Stone Shore contract so that that box, so to speak, is checked for VTRANS. And, and there's two parts to that. One is just simple authority from the town that I can be the uh, municipal project manager. Then the second part is if any of the grants have some built-in administrative reimbursements, the boxes have to be checked. So all of the grants, I'm just giving you that as one example of VTRANS, but whether it's USDA, whether it's VTRANS, whether it's uh, ACCD with the state of Vermont, uh, regional planning commission has certain agreements with the town. All of those things need need to be adjusted. Uh, 
And some of them have to be adjusted before the agencies will even talk to you, even if it's an interim basis, because they have certain protocol to follow, wanting to know that who they're talking to is a authorized representative for Hyde Park. So the only way I can think of managing all of that, <laughs> basically, is asking that the select board um, authorize Chastity to work with me to figure that out and have her basically authorized by the select board to file whatever paperwork is necessary to update all that business. Now, yes, you will have to do it again if the outcome of this vacancy in town administrator results in a new town administrator or some other person taking over projects or whatever. But at least in the interim, uh, in order to ensure any kind of grant reimbursement, we need to tune that up and get certain documents back to those agencies. And then, you, then you'll be done with that part. So that's, that's, my, <laughs> that's sort of my grants report. Every, we went through all the projects. Everything is updated. I sent the updated report uh, dated last um, last Friday, I think, to you, to Justin, to get to the board. And it's all updated. I worked with Jen on making sure she was aware of all the uh, changes. She gave me some changes in some of the town account coding. Um, so that's a really good sort of one document snapshot of all your projects. So that that was done. That was done last week. It was kind of, it was a lot of work, but it was one of those things that Brent wasn't updating. So if, if that can happen tonight, then that will expedite things, especially with you know, your intentions of monthly meetings for action items. The second part is just pure, purely looking at project management in general. Um, including your annual requirements um, of, for, for documentation. One, one of the things that came up during the review of all this was that the town's eligibility for state ERAF money is reduced uh, to 12.5% when it should be 17.5%. And that was because the uh, town submitted an inaccurate or incomplete uh, local emergency management plan. So I talked to Vermont Emergency Management about that yesterday, and they they said, here's the information that we sent to Brent back in July that needed action, and that never happened. So, you know, it's it's, it's all of that stuff. So, if, you know, if you want to get back to your 17.5%, which is the maximum uh, state supplemental payment for disasters, uh, somebody should be authorized tonight to sign the um updated revised local emergency management plan so that will be refiled with vermont emergency management to correct your your funding level so as, I, as i'm going through these things those are kind of the two main areas that we really that the town should really get resolved tonight one is authorization the chastity to update all the grant paperwork uh, have have me or other people assigned as the town rep for all those things and then the second part was Hopefully, if, you, if you're willing, add the uh, some relatively minor local emergency management plan updates. One of the problems with that was that uh, Roland Bovian and Brad Carrier were both assigned as emergency management director throughout the documents that went to Vermont Emergency Management. You, you only need one EMD. So I went through and without asking Roland, Roland I, I changed everything to Roland. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I know he well, might have. Wanted you don't, no, you don't need to tell him. Yeah. Okay. Your emergency. You're good. Your emergency coordinator. Yeah. 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 Your name was on some of the stuff, so he just changed your yeah. you over. Well, yeah. Brad, Brad took uh, much of a college place, didn't he? EMC. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question about that. So I was told recently there's there's some big plan of some kind, of some big like drill that's happening up in like has to do with the reservoir and that apparently there's like been some meetings going on and there's no but even that's been appointed to go to these meetings there's gonna be some like some like things gonna be going on right. anyway. I don't know I was told that in, I don't know there's nobody's been appointed by this town like this area they, they called me and I was working and Okay. I got all the running and Ryan was. Okay. So I was just, I was asked about that. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. 10 o'clock yeah. in the morning is not a good time to have a meeting. 
<laughs> That's very true. Yeah. Right. On, a, on a Tuesday, Wednesday. On, on I've Wednesday. never even heard about this. Yeah. yeah so but Ryan West. So we're good. I wish Ryan was still here. I know, right? You didn't know that. Go to. and I talked. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's going to be some. Kind Lisa of, was like, talking about it. Like thing, like if something were to happen at the reservoir, like what would happen, and like all the things that would need to be done and things okay. there. Okay. So but, we'll ask yeah, Ryan. Table pockets or something. Yeah. <laughs> that's. I mean, that's what it's called. Like a, a mock drill of some kind. Okay. And it's. Something I'll ask Ryan if he went. I don't right. really know. So okay. That's all. Right. You know. I feel very good. Okay. I'll ask him to make sure he was in there. Okay. So Ron, so we will we need to make a motion to assign me <laughs> sign all sorts of, to sign all sorts of stuff. Yeah, so I'm let's do that. Motion to have Chastity sign whatever she needs to sign. Okay. Second. I'll second that. Okay. All those in favor. Just oh, just sorry. Typical at just ask that Ron, whatever he does sign or Cast signs, it comes with a follow up to the following. That way, there's not something you sign. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yes. That would yes. happen. Yes. Well, and it'll probably be on this yep. grant update yep. that yep. we finally have. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for the grant update, by the way, Ron. Yep. Thoroughly appreciate that. So, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Okay. Just authorize just chastity or do yeah. Yeah. For yeah. now, because I think yeah. we have to do two separate ones, right, Ron? And now we'll do one to for the emergency management plan needs to be revised. Yeah, there's two signatures on that. It's the adoption form that, um, like I said, the only corrections made were to clarify EMD or emergency management director roles between the, the various pages. So okay. they're all consistent, but it, it would require a vote tonight to update. Okay. Update the revised 2024 LEMP and the chair of the select board. And uh, you could authorize me to sign as the uh, administrative staff. Okay. So moved. Someone want to make that motion? Second. I'll second that. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstained. Okay. So we've got the admin things good, right? Yep. So the, the rest of it, I can go over pretty quickly The okay. um, on the bullet list. So the LVRT Trailhead Project, that project is probably one of the fastest VTrans projects I've been watching <laughs> from conception to funding to design phase to construction phase. They're working towards construction phase and a critical point in that process is the preliminary plans. Preliminary plans typically mean that uh, right away is re is relatively resolved. Uh, design elements are represented on the plan. Uh, the community has had uh, a chance to do you know public comment once, which was done over a year ago, um, I think last spring. And the design engineers, VHP, um, have gone and, and produced these preliminary plans. Preliminary plans have a 30-day comment period ending Friday. And I don't know, and I, I, I haven't found any notes to say otherwise, that Brent never brought those to the select board or, or highway department for review. The, the reason why that's important is because once that window closes on the 30-day, there's usually a final design. If there's no significant changes, then there's a final design process that starts, which includes all of the permits. So if you don't if you don't participate in the preliminary comments, the state and the engineers start to run with approvals. And of course, if you have a change late in the process, like just before bidding, then you have to go back to the beginning, so to speak, and, and amend all those approvals. So preliminary uh, comments I've sent out uh, based on my review of the plans. And I think I had one supplemental comment from Mr. French, who uh, yeah, he didn't vehement, vehemently object to the proposed speed hump on Depot Street, just north of Depot Street Extension. Uh, but he did mention it to me as a, you know, I really don't like, uh, you know, interferences with the plows. 
you know, that kind of thing. And I said, you know, it's a struggle on that hill because you have the, the traffic headed downhill into the trail crossing with sometimes limited sight line for people that are coming out of the trailhead parking area, either on Maury or Depot Street Extension. And then you have the cross traffic on the trail. The town installed the speed um, solar speed limit radar sign as an attempt to remind people that it's a 25. And the town raised an issue a couple of years ago with the state of Vermont saying that your trail is creating, you know, a, a safety risk to the Depot Street Town Highway. So I think it, I think what they did with this particular project is they started to look at what possibly could be done for that southbound traffic headed um, from the school down to the rail trail. And they came up with this with a speed hump. So other than that one concern, there's a more significant change, which VTRAN staff has picked up on, which I wanted you all to be aware of, that the preliminary plans include a pavilion building up next to the artwork on the south side of the trail. Now that, that site was not the favorite site of the artist and as, as it detracted from the trail users heading towards Morrisville. But it went into the preliminary designs because when VHB first started work, the corral from David Ring was still present. It was a restriction or constraint on the north side. Since that time and after this work was done, uh, I think as late as August, the state of Vermont finally cleared the right away uh, of David Ring's interest. So that reopened, if you will, the north side of the trail for consideration for that pavilion. So there is there is probably going to be comment from VTrans itself on this project to relocate the pavilion to the to the north side, west side of the existing parking lot, uh, with an attempt to get off of the brownfield cap, which is on the south side of the trail. So I just wanted to raise that issue with you. I don't I I, I think that's the the timeline there, um, but the deadline for common is uh, Friday. So you, you can look at my comments. You could come up with your own comments. You could have no comment, but there there are federal and state people looking at all of the improves, improvements. Uh, there is a water station proposed. There is a interpretive sign proposed for the artwork. There's the standard trail signs that are installed along the 93 miles, which is a standard VTRAN sign with a map. There is a proposal to remove the existing village wayfinding sign, which is uh, on the north side of um, Depot Street Extension that's been there for 10 years or, or so uh, because the sidewalk is going through there. Yeah. And I think that's it. So I don't know how much law, it may be that there's enough comments that there'll be a whole new redesign and another chance to look at preliminary, but the first deadline is this week. Okay. Does anyone have any? Well, no, with, with it, um, it's Ron knows with VTrans finally getting the situation cleared up with rain, that that's a whole thing that everybody was, has been dancing around for so long. Um, and that, that is, there was a lot of conversation, again, sort of doing various in the, the current site, the, uh, the artist Dan is aware of it because they've, he, they've talked with him and he's been aware of it and looked at different changes and what you can make and, and, uh, and things. Um, yeah, I think with the ring issue cleared up, it's probably worth having another conversation about it. Everybody may decide that it's good the way it is to leave well enough alone, but it might be that it's okay now that now that it is feasible to put it over there. Um, do, do people want to reconsider that? Yeah, I mean, and that might be the that might be the comment. They didn't give you two alternatives. They said, "Here's the preliminary plans. If there's a substantial change like that, like moving it to the north side, then I 
I think it just extends the comment period because you you actually do have to comment on the plans that will be constructed. That's part of the deal. So if there's substantial changes like that, VHB and VTrans will open up, you know, give some more time for the changes to happen. And then you'll have another meeting like this um, if they decide to change it. If they decide not to change it, then, you know, the board can the board can approve those plans, but you do have to provide comment if you want to by Friday. And that might be, uh, can, can you give us an idea for that north side location? And we'll make comment later. You could do that uh, because you don't know how it's going to look. Um, or you can say, we absolutely don't want it on the south side. And then VTrans will find a way. They will respect that kind of a directive and they will find a way to make it work on the north side. There, there's enough options you know area wise to to do that so it's kind of it's kind of up to you how you write that letter either either more of a soft or hard type thing and i again that's up to you 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 five folks well i think it should go with with the and i i i think that it's a letter that it's you know now now with the questionable area cleaned up and realizing that they were on the where they currently have it they were you were drifting off into uh more brown fields and um and they said well you know you here's what it would cost to clean it up and um i said at the time with brand i said no the town isn't putting the money into cleaning up anything like that you know, we've 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 been there, done this. Here's the site. This is what we have to work with them. And they were like, okay. And there isn't any. They know there isn't any more money available right now for doing any cleanup of of that sort of brownfield. So I think maybe a letter saying, what's now with this change in status on that side? Does it still make sense, or would it make sense to go back to? Because we looked at putting it over there too, but the, again, the issues were fairly yeah. significant. Yeah, and, and they'll it, when they do that, they'll be able to adjust their pricing. You know, the cost of you know estimates for you too, so you can see what A and B might be. You know, keep it keep it where it is versus move it to the north. There'll be additional costs there. You know, just different costs. I didn't say additional costs, but different costs to do it on the north side compared to the south side. There, those are the only two options that I could see. And yeah. And, I, I don't think there's a third location. There's not a fourth location. It's it's either north side, south side, sort of on the west westerly side of the parking area. Um, Valerie Valcor was the planning commission and currently the ambassador to the rail trail. Um, does either option impact parking? Oh, Ron probably didn't hear that. I think I heard it about parking. So that yeah, does that either like does either option affect parking? Valerie Valcourt last. Yeah. Time. So what will happen, Valerie, is if if the north side is looked at, they will come up with a plan that will be new, and they will figure out the parking. There's no parking on the south side of the trail, and there's so many spaces on the north side. So I think there's eight or 10, there, there's not a lot of spaces in total that are actually going to be demarked, you know, official. Um, so you could, you know, in a letter to VTrans, which everybody's welcome, it's not just the select board, but it's open for public comment, uh, say, oh yeah, if you, if you can put it on the north side away from the artwork to give more picnic space for grass people, people like grass versus a structure, um, don't take away any parking from the current plan you know you could you could say something that specific and then they'll figure it out okay. and well i have the floor for just a moment um how is this this grant different from the community facilities grant that the regional planning commission is working with other towns for kiosk mats yeah so that was a dual grant process that was overlapped and the community, it's almost the same grant program, just a different purpose. Um, they're overlapping. And what I said earlier about this particular grant being accelerated, 
that's sort of exactly what's happening. It's taken a while for people in the system, you know, VTRAN system, to get the word out to everybody that this thing is moving much faster than normal. So uh, it's sort of overtaken that original regional grant on signage because they've incorporated signage into this new grant. Thank you. Yep. And um, while I have you folks here, I just <laughs> wanted to share one really quick thing and it, we don't have to address it tonight. I just want to make you aware and then perhaps in the future, um, as being a rep on the Lamar Valley Rail Trail Council, whatever we call ourselves, um, some complaints about, in particular, the um, by, by Maury Road. It's in the back here. And I yeah. have an experience myself of riding over that and losing, almost losing my teeth, but no, just kidding. Um, if you're not aware of it, and you come across it, it it's quite a bump. So um, there's an email comment from the town administrator in Johnson because the complainer was from Johnson. Um, so I don't, I'm, I'm- I'm not so sure that the town has responsibility in maintaining the rail trail. I think it's a state issue. I yeah. think that whoever the coordinator, whoever we need to reach out from on a V-Trans level, it needs a call over there. Okay. I wasn't that. sure with that email. Is that what you oh, just said? It's right at the end of the road. The water mm -hmm. all traces down. The, the state has a responsibility. For sure. I would think, you know. Okay. So I'll, I'll put in a formal that. complaint for that. Yeah, I think. That's right. Okay. You know, okay. The ditch runs through it and then it washes. Right. Right. And the other two on the other side are just um, just some sight line issues. Um, again, I think you all are aware, especially um, yeah. the one by the the rail, the trailhead. The trailhead. Yeah. Uh, the, um, not weed. <laughs> the lovely not weed. The lovely, the lovely not weed. Right. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you, Valerie. Okay. So I think you know what you need to kind of run with with comments, right, Ron? Yeah, I think this the same thing applies here is that we'll use this meeting's comments and put it into a select board letter for you to sign if you can be authorized to sign that letter on behalf of the board. Okay. Someone like to assign me to sign a letter? I think I think we should just do one motion, give her blanket, just sign away. <laughs> <laughs> sign my life away. <laughs> <laughs> well, not whatever I want, but <laughs> yeah, it has to come back. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh. Okay. But really, we are all set, right? I think she, he wanted a motion for the last. Do you want a motion? I'll make the motion for you to send a letter. Okay. Second. I'll second that. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. Okay. And that's due Friday, Ron? Yep, Friday. I'll I'll send you a draft and then uh So wait, it. we might have to assign Susan because I'm at a I'm in Boston Thursday and Friday. Yeah, that's fine. If, so you're, if you're not available then realized. We, Sorry. We can <laughs> add we can add that or yeah, Chastity or Chastity or can Susan. authorize another yeah. board member to sign in her address. Oh, I know. I could do electronic. You can email it to me, but oh, okay. I yeah, that was Expecting it to be electronic. Oh, okay, perfect. Then send it to me. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no change. No change. Okay. Next, Ron, the culvert. Mm -hmm. really well, that was, I think we were just talking. Oh, that's what we yes. just said. Yeah. Well, the state responsibility. So, Wayne's. Can we please Wayne's, get yeah. Wayne's Electric paid and done? That was my advice to Jen. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Is it, did we, put it in here? Is we, it we now I understand what waited. it is. Though. Yeah, now that we know what it is, yeah. right? I think that was our big dilemma. Yeah, that was our big not dilemma. knowing. And so thank you for explaining that and getting that. Yeah. Yeah, it's overdue. Yeah. And I think we do. We have the electrical upgrades, right, Jen? Was that? We I haven't kind of proposed as a use for ARPA. That's what I thought. You guys haven't actually voted to okay. use Okay. We had right, we had left that open so we knew for sure. Okay. What it was. That's right. right. So 
Would someone like to? I move that we pay Wins Electric the, what is it? Whatever it is, right? Whatever. Well, we need to use, we're going to use ARPA funds for the repairs. Yes. Obligation number 37. Correct. Okay, so. In the amount of? In the amount of? $14,164. Well, there you go. But I was looking at this. Well, Wayne's okay. is part of that. Okay, so yeah. yeah. $14,163.84. Out, And I need to say specifically out of our funds then? Correct. Yeah. Out of our funds. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Okay, yeah. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Abstain. Was there a change that went out? Fourteen thousand one hundred sixty-four dollars. Oh, let me see. It's on this bill. It was, she cents. had she, no. She went sixty-three and eighty-four cents. Yeah. Jen had it as one seventy-four. Oh well, then do go one sixty-four because it's on. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's in this. Yeah. It's on her. It's on Jen's thing. It's that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Northside Park welcome signs. We. Good on that? Or that I would like to defer to Ron. Okay. Um, we have the design, the planning commission approved that. Uh site board approved the design, so we're good there. I think now it's well, the funding we decided can we have a certain fund? I don't remember exactly what point it is, like a sidewalk fund or something. Can we go to the sidewalk fund? Sidewalk fund. Mm -hmm. So now it's the easements for something from the property owners we need permission to put up the signs. Gotcha. Yes. We talked about yeah. that last time. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ron, do you have something? So, no, I, well, I'm kind of looking for a little bit of an update. So the the funding, I I believe, is sort of two parts. One is the actual sign construction installation because sign companies will do both. Mm -hmm. um, the easements, I almost like Al. Al up in North Hyde Park. Somebody was working on that. I haven't had a chance to update if anybody made has any success with those. Okay. Um, I I believe VTrans information was to keep it out of their right of way, at the edge of the state right of ways up there. Um, but I'll have to pick I'll have to pick it up and see. I don't want to recreate work, but somebody might have made some progress on those easements. So I'll check into that and report back next time okay. i don't know if there's a budget for that i don't i don't think the select board has not talked at all about locations names easements cost of easement donation any of that business right mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. just the signs okay yeah so ra rather than have the signs built and paid for and sit in the town garage i think the easement should come first and finish that process okay, okay. And I'll I'll report and I'll give you all an update next meeting. This, okay, thank this you. Like a year ago, I mean, it's going to be within the state right away. Yeah, because I asked about this at least a year and a half ago, and I when they talked about the grant, and we talked about easements, and the discussion was it was going to be yeah, because within the state the, right away. when we talked about it at the last meeting, Brent said something about there was permits he had to fill out to put it in the state right away, which probably didn't get done. I don't remember that. I don't know. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to check on any of that because if okay. one of the two things that happens is you either get a state highway permit under 19 VSA 1111, which is exactly what town issues, and there are provisions on the state law for um, I think one welcome sign each way, so like North Hyde Park, southbound, northbound on 100, mm -hmm. certain size. You know all that kind of business, so it has to be a certain size. I don't know about 100 C, et cetera. So let me. I just need. I just need to catch up with where the approvals are, whether it's a 19 VSA 1111 or whether it's easements, and then I'll report back to you. Great, thank you. Okay, is that? I think you're good, right, Ron? Anything more? Uh, I'm. Good for now. I may just listen in for a bit. Okay. Perfect. Okay. 
<laughs> the question, Eric, what should we decide on that? We were just going to say, I can fill it out, right? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what you do is Jerry just like, yeah. Uh, yeah. yes. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like most of the time. Yeah, it's just an update. It's something you want to, why don't you speak on behalf of this since you talked to the person? Yeah, um, it was Robert Harnish, I believe. He, I did, reached out to him regarding the declaration of inclusion statement. I worked with him in St. George. It was initially brought to us from Kim uh, with the questionnaire and previous discussion of adopting the inclusion statement wasn't known at that time but they found it in our personnel policy that we did do that a couple of years ago. So I believe it's just an update and reporting at this point. Right. So, so I have um, to, we have to fill that out. I did print off. The Declaration of Inclusion Implementation Guide. So if anyone wants that, it's available. Okay. So I will work on that questionnaire, guys, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Is Kim asleep or are you still there, Kim? <laughs> I'm here. Hello. Hello. So your contract for your recording system. Yes. So we signed a contract in 2019 um, for our recording system. It's coming up for renewal in December. I had heard um, because there was some new things happening in the contract, I initiated the renewal about three months earlier than I normally would. And I'm glad that I did because I worked through a lot of it. But um, it's another contract. It's not for five years like the pre previous one was. It is a three-year contract with the option for um, canceling at the end of each of the three years, if we so wanted to do that. Okay. The difference between this contract and the former contract is that they used to provide new equipment at the end of every five-year contract. They no longer do that. The cost okay. of the equipment is now on us. The equipment that we currently have from them becomes ours. So it's already the equipment that we already have from them is already working. We haven't had any issues. That doesn't mean that something wouldn't happen. Um, it's currently on our tech group um, contract. So it's being you know monitored and all the updates and all the security safety stuff is already being taken care of through tech group. Um, but this contract basically will allow us to can you continue to record. Um, I don't have a copy of it in front of me. So I don't remember the numbers because I'm home and I did wasn't at the office today. Um, but basically it's a it's a small increase over the current year. Um, we currently pay eight hundred dollars a month and I think if I remember correctly the next year is eight twenty five or eight fifty and then it increases a little bit each year into the third year. Um, we Still, we prefer to stick with this contract versus somebody else. Some of the other um, vendors we've looked at and investigated, and I wasn't really happy with the software, um, the researchability remotely. Um, so that's why I choose to try and stay with the one that we have. Um, so that's what we're looking at. The big change is going forward, we have to budget for the equipment. Um, so that's, that's the difference. How much more do we have to budget? Well, we've got, um, three computers and two of them are, you know, very, they're basically research only. Um, no, nothing can be done on them, but the land records, people sitting in the back counter. So they're very minimal, small computers. They don't require all the heavy duty memory, and whatever. So, you know, a, the monitors are fine. Probably a hard drive, you know, a couple hundred dollars. Um, as long as the monitors are fine, there is a server involved, um, but it's a small server. It's not something like the town's twelve thousand or fifteen thousand dollar server. It's a little bit beefier than a regular traditional um, um, 
computer drive like what we have. So I'm guessing it's probably in the, you know, the two to three thousand dollar range. We haven't had any issues with it. Um, I'd have to look at the dates and and warranties to see about extending the warranty on it so that we can keep it for another couple of years and try and, um, you know, budget for that for the future versus like an immediate turnover. Well, perfect. Okay. So I like the idea we can cancel it at the end of every year. Not many people do that. Yeah. They We've start, that's, in. that's their new, their new contract. I, I'm, I'm not sure why they went the way that they did. I guess they didn't want to be in the equipment business, which, I mean, I understand that's not really the business that they're in. They're in digital recording. Okay. So can we have a motion to approve the three-year contract for our recording system? Um, so move. Do we have a second? I'll second. Uh, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Staying? Matt, are you okay down there? Yeah, no, I was just I was just reading the third party fee stuff. So, yeah, I'm good. Okay. I think. <laughs> So, and that authorizes me to sign the contract. Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> and I'll just, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Okay. Development okay. review board vacancy. We still have nothing. Okay. Moving along. Lamar Fiber Communication District mm -hmm. Rep. I thought we have one. No. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wait. Yeah. We are not going to have me much longer. Oh, come on. Do you want to come up and do it? I'm just so loaded. It's crazy. Okay. And I've only been on it since its beginning. Ask Ron how yeah, long ago that was. Well, it's it's too been... damn long ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got, I've got to stop. And Carol said she had to as well. Okay. So we really need to get two people, and both Carol and I will help transition whoever we can get but we there's also a big change in what the model net is doing going from the building it stage i mean most of you have probably seen the trucks out there laying fiber and all this stuff but the next phase is to monitor see uh video and make sure they get it done right and stay it's there and stay. Uh, you know stay treating high park correct because high park is small I mean, we think of it as big, but right. it's small compared to some of the other ones. Sure. So these video trucks that we have been seeing, that does lock into the model fiber net that the grants were put in for. Um, I've had a million people ask me, like, the video trucks and stuff, and I actually asked Chastin. Yeah. Because I, I, I knew we were fiber net. Yeah, the then... fiber net is the... The uh, I well, not only I Park, but the well, County, 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 County Communications Union District, uh, and we made we we looked long and hard to find somebody to do the work because if we get into the position, if we just stayed with it, doing it ourselves, trying to do the work, yeah. we would have had to get permits for every blankety blank pole to uh, uh, build. And I mean, frankly, Fidium is ideal in some respects. I mean, we all know what CCI has as, as a uh, image, let's say, and it's it's not good, but Fidium is supposed to be different. And they have the right to put up the, uh, the fiber on every pole right from the get-go. So they don't have any delay. Uh -huh. And that was the fastest way we could get it done. And the least expensive one too. The feds are paying for our share pretty much and uh, uh, Fidium is putting in a little bit, but not, uh, you know, they're not paying for the whole thing. It's a good, it's, it's a good deal as long as we watch Fidium carefully. Seems like they've been moving right along. I mean, <laughs> they are. I mean, yes. but it's not only a moving along. We, you know, not everybody in Hyde Park can afford to spend a lot of money. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's important to keep the the pressure on them to keep the rates down. Yeah, and uh, it's it's certainly they, they certainly have said they're going to do it, but 
They got to do it. Mm -hmm. you know, they got to keep it. Not just for one year or something either. Yeah. So why don't we advertise for representatives to step up and join? And maybe you could let us know like what that's going to entail. So when people start inquiring, we can kind of tell them yeah, what tried, the duties might be. Or I tried to write something up for them. And um, I wanted to get it past Carol. Oh, and then Carol look at it. Great. Uh, I'm surprised. She must be, I don't know where the hell she is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she okay. must be somewhere. But she'll get back to me. Perfect. And then we'll get it to you. Okay. Uh, but it, it's, it's going to take some work because you've got to get somebody who wants to monitor it's not someone who's going to want to watch them build it or anything. Yeah. You know. Okay. Perfect. Well, thank you for all your hard work. <laughs> and we appreciate that. Um, well, and hopefully we can find someone to, yeah. to step up. I, well, we need to find two someone. Two someone's. Two someone's. So we'll I wonder if this is something we can put off to the DRB or to the, our planning commission or something. We could ask them. Um, it wouldn't hurt. The, Planning Commission would certainly be able to pay attention to it in some respect, but I don't think they have any special knowledge. They might have people there that want to monitor. I don't know, someone from the Planning Commission. I may recommend that the Village of Hyde Park Planning Commission, some of their members are going to be very engaged and be oh. a factor, so they may have some nuance to it. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Yeah. Okay. And folks like Jack Wool and Carol and I who have been on it since the beginning, you know, may have some contacts. I've been looking through mine trying to find somebody. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's not always easy to find somebody who wants to monitor. No. That's true. <laughs> Is it a paid position? That, that makes it really easy to find no, somebody, in right? in fact, one of the big <laughs> Volunteers? Yeah, yeah volunteer. The model father that essentially isn't going to have any money. And it's really a problem for the more fiber net. But as long as the, the fiber gets installed and CCI and fiber fitium do what they're supposed to do, that shouldn't be a problem. Right. And just watching is important. Sure. Okay. Well, great. Well, thank you. So yeah, once you get that, then we'll yeah. start trying to find a couple people. So, thank you. Waiting on Carol. I don't know where she is. Okay. <laughs> she was very quick to get back, so I'm a little concerned. It's all on you, buddy. Okay. Um, Hyde Park monthly newsletter. I sent that out. Received quite a few comments back for edits and changes, so it was greatly appreciated. Um, if there's any more, feel free to reach out. It'll be going out on Saturday morning, Friday night, Saturday morning. Uh, the errors and omissions. There are a few of those. They're also included in the, that type of this as a cover page. So there's a few different forms here because they were signed at different times, and I thought the village trustees had to sign off on the grant on the village grant list changes. But per statute, it's a select board. The select board's in charge of all of it, well, okay. blisters and then such one. Okay. Yeah, it's a town. Okay. So there's a change on here for Vermont Electric Power Company, um, reducing their value by a total of $647. The village grand list wasn't updated when the town's grand list was. There's one on here for Glenn and Linda Jones, boosting their value by 56700 Due to the depreciated, um, yeah, depreciation of the structure. Where is that one? That is at Forty Fitch Hill. Oh, okay. And then there is Sterling Retreat Limited Partnership. They had they purchased a property and it's abutting, so we combine them in the grand list. It wasn't previously combined. Oh, okay. Got it. Any questions, comments, guys?
all approval. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. Right. Can we do it all as one? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the four error of evictions. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Perfect. Cool. And then the minutes. Oh. Um, I did not do the August 20th ones. So we Savannah and Kim. I didn't make any edits after they were submitted by Kim's edits. And then the special meeting minutes from August 27th. Okay. And I have a motion to approve those. We do it two separate ones. Because I was not here for the special meeting. Oh, sure. Yep, we can do that. I'll approve the August 20th minutes. Okay, second. I'll second it. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. Aye. I'll make a motion to approve the August 27th minutes. Second. I'll second that. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. I uh, abstain. Uh, opposed. Abstain. Abstain. Perfect. Okay. Um, Christine Tooney has not received any landscape bids yet. But, okay. So she's open beyond the October agenda. Okay. Perfect. And that's for an art program. Okay. okay. So, Jen's finance memo. Okay, ARPA funds update. Does anyone have any questions for Jen or comments on that? Jen, do you have anything to add on your update? Things you want to call out or anything? Thank you. Good to see you. Sure, you want to stay rolling? You want to buy job. Sorry, Jen. So I just, I guess, want to ask, are we having Ron reach out to um, Wayne's Electric to set up the the upgrades to be scheduled? Or who's going to do that outreach? Um, I will do that. Okay. I didn't have anything else to add to it. I think we're just kind of waiting to hear what the request is from the cemetery. If you guys were still looking to consider them for the 20,000 or less. Dwindling down. Um, what was the FEMA. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Was this talking about reallocating money from the, uh, I'm sorry, what'd she say? The cemetery. Was, the cemetery. The cemetery. The cemetery. Trying to decide well, yeah, they, 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 they have twenty thousand dollars, right? Yes, but yeah. she's just trying to decide if you want to keep it in there. But nobody, I thought, I think we keep coming back to that. Like they haven't responded. Like, what well, isn't this Coney? Yeah. No, no, no. But she's part of the cemetery. Right? Yeah, but it's Memorial North. Super, I think that's something different, isn't it? But she's the same person, so she's coming in. <laughs> that's even better. Or something. Yeah, I would make her get. Lock something down. I know. Well, but wait a minute. So this is Ellen and D. Is she? Where's Christine Coney? Well, look, well, Christine works at school, but it says Ellen S. D. So is Christine asking for our money for the cemetery? Like, how is she? She's on the cemetery commission, okay. and it's supposed to be an ARPA request for the cemetery. Okay. Thank you. Okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 so I, I should have okay. clarified that. That's what I was saying. There's some police to contact. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. So it's on there, and she's going to be at the next meeting. Right. Yes. So we really can't pinch her yet until she presents yes. it to us. She's right. waiting for um. Well, yeah, we're saying we just wait right. to find out. Which, what I, which I know she, I know she did send some up because I called me. I would, but I don't keep. Yeah. In the world we live in right now, it's a uh, so one of the the requested work is really tough to get people. There's a lot of labor intensive work working around the cemetery stones and stuff. Right? Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so we took care of uh, Wayne's Electric for you, right, Jen? Yes, thank you. Perfect. And now we will talk about the truck loan. Did you guys get get that from Ryan for the truck? You did, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 325? Yep. Mm -hmm. Which I'm not sure on the timing for bond bonding. I'm not sure if we can even go for the bond. Um, but I did talk with Union Bank about a loan and they just advised that we should wait out as long as possible because interest rates are declining. Oh, okay. No. okay. You guys did get voter approval for the max amount. Um, so I could go for more than 325,000 for the loan, but the difference of the MELF loan that I'm asking you guys to allow Kim to sign tonight, um, or we could stay with the, the 325. It's really up to you without knowing, um, we don't really have like a capital plan for replacement of the fire trucks in place yet. Um, that's something that I would like to start developing so that we can be better prepared for the next half a million dollar truck. Perfect. Would you work with Ryan on that, Jen, with our assistance or what were you thinking on that? I was gonna look through uh, the chart of accounts and our capital asset folder to see when they were purchased. But okay. yes, I have talked to Ryan about it. Okay. And, would, and would reach out with questions. Okay. Thank well, you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So we need to figure out what we want to do, guys, um, with this loan. Well, I think we should do the 110. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> So I'll make the I'll make the motion for him to sign the MELF loan application for the hundred ten thousand. Okay. Do I have a second? I'll second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Abstain. <laughs> Wonderful. So we can do that. So as far as. You just voted on approving Kim to sign the 110, right? Pay attention. I, I was just making sure I agreed to that. I, we didn't go the whole one. Okay. I said, yeah, but I guess it didn't matter whether it was the whole or not. Uh, it's at two, I just wanted to make sure. That yes, that is what we did. Okay. Um, so she did. So we should wait on the other and see what interest rates do. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay. And the warrants, we will, there's a ton of them. So we'll wait on approving those till everybody looks at them. Um, more spill sand and gravel. I do not, I was just checking my email. And I do not have an update on that. So I will fill you guys in on that when I get an update from the attorney. Uh, municipal plan update with planning commissions. The, the big side. I know, right? The previous planning commission um, meeting, they discussed the energy chapter that is now finalized. If it's still ongoing, but they're not going back to it as of right now. Um, they discussed the health and wellness. This is the second time they discussed that. They're going to be going to be making additional edits and returning to that at the end of the process. And did it just something else too? Um, transportation. Yep. So, okay. It's just, that's what they've been working on. The bylaws, there will be a public hearing uh, now in November instead of October. And that is my update. Okay. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. We'll be in touch. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I thought you were leaving. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, that's okay. I'll okay. leave. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So before the other things we're going to go into, let's see. 
executive session. So this, I want to, I just got an email later, late, later this afternoon about the knotweed. So I just wanted to read you the update um, that the um, chemical treatment was done. Um, so it looks like that went well, everything went great today. Um, and there was a patch on the Centerville Road culvert that did not, he did not treat because there was some flowers in bloom and he didn't want to ruin current vegetation. So, but other than that, that went good. Um, and I am going to be meeting the attorney at my office at Stowe, coincidentally, um, on the closing of the North Hyde Park property. So that's going to finally be done. Um, the Brown Leaves. Correct. So that will be done. Um, I'm not doing that till October 7th, but so that was that. Um, I think that was all extra stuff that I had. Yes. So I... I'm good. Um, we have cameras. I th think we're gonna do that in executive session. Um, so we're talking about the contracts and stuff. So mm -hmm. can I have a motion? Oh, you had you told me how to what the motion needed to be for executive. Uh, yeah, and just for clarification. Sure. So the ten ministry position, do you want to make any type of public anything about that or? Yes, we will when we come out. Okay, so that's what you want to talk about that after. And uh, same with that, Warren, do you want to circle back to that after? Yeah, because we haven't that, even looked at them yet. Sounds good. So yes, yeah, so with the motions, um, it's per Vermont Statute one, uh, one BSA three one three A and B for personnel and contracts. Perfect. And we will actually Jen doesn't Jen and Ron don't need to come to executive session. You guys don't need to come to executive session, but we will want these guys. Okay. So if I can have Say a motion. Were, want me, so. Oh yes, and Justin. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Forget about it. Okay, Justin. so you got that motion, Justin? You just read it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's making it? Yeah, I'll make it. Right. <laughs> to include the select board. Give that part, right? I'll help okay. you there. To include the select board and. Um, I just want to note too, I see Michelle Chapman's online. I don't know if she has anything she wanted to say before executive session. We'll oh, if, if sure. You have Michelle, you have anything to say, this is the time to jump in. I don't think she is in my state about that. Oh, okay. It takes a while for people to, when they haven't been there, Tammy Smith Lawrence. Oh, shit. Are you guys able to hear me? Just barely. Sorry. I'm not sure why. Is that yeah. any? Oh, you just got louder. Wonderful. I'm so sorry about that. Yes, um, I have been working with Allie when it comes to some of the um, abandoned animals in the county and um i'm very interested at you know the town's stance on all of this and um i'd like to learn more at i guess how everything's working so can you just wait right here because i don't know what you and can you tell us who yeah, you what? are michelle oh i'm a resident of the the town oh, okay. um yes and i was just kind of joining to kind of see where the town is at with abandoned animals in the town. And we've just fostered an animal that was abandoned. And um, I'm kind of curious at kind of how this whole situation happened. I'd love to educate myself more on it. I'm so sorry. My, I'm not quite sure why you guys aren't able to hear me properly. No, no, no okay. you, gotta, you guys need to come up here, please. Do we have kind of in one of the is this blanket, which is a blanket word. That is a blanket word. It is a blanket word. Yeah. And she's also fostering one of the research one. Yes. So 
And actually, Michelle, while you're still on, I want to tell them about the work that you've been doing um, to help these animals further. Do you oh, mind touching okay. base on that real quick? Yeah, so uh, we actually found that there was a, a believe right in around $2,600 need to pay for the boarding fees. So my company, uh, I own a cannabis company in the state of Vermont, uh, Highly Rooted, we manufacture edibles. We are going to make one of our products, have 10% of the proceeds go directly towards this fund to pay for these two. And then we're actually going to do an ongoing project that will forever donate 10% of proceeds to help abandoned dogs in the town. I had no idea that this was this big of an issue. It was definitely an eye opener and um, we're going to help however we can and try to get some dogs adopted along the way. That's amazing. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much. Um, chills. Um, <laughs> I'm a dog lover. I get it. Um, so, um, Michelle, this this kennel kind of I don't want to say issue situation situation has kind of new to the town. So we're really trying to work through lots of kinks and lots of issues and kind of things that are coming up. And we we definitely need to do some work on that <laughs> um, and to get our, our wording done correctly and contracts kind of updated. Um, so we're work gonna be working on that. Um, and we will definitely keep you in the loop um, and are welcome to any you know, suggestions or thoughts or ideas that you might have. Um, it sounds like you've already talked to Allie maybe about that. So, which is great. Um, so we appreciate all that you're doing. Of course, we're happy to help. We absolutely love animals. And um, if you saw these two, I think you'd probably take them home too, from what it sounds like, the way you said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my gosh, it's taken everything in me not to keep Goose. Um, it hit me today that I'm not going to have him. And it was sad. But mm -hmm. if there's anything I can do, you know, volunteer work, whatever it is, um, to assist you guys, um, I am very new to the situation as well, as much as I can educate myself and help along the process to, you know, common goal of helping animals. <laughs> I just showed Chas your flyer. Yeah. That's my amazing. graphic designer is absolutely amazing. And she made the cutest flyers and something worked. <laughs> yeah. Something you want to put in the newsletter? Yes. Something we want to put in the newsletter. Yes. How are we doing on that in our local agreement? So, but wait, that's so great. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, Michelle, do you have her contact? Okay, perfect. So we can share that with Justin yeah. and we can keep her informed. Absolutely. Okay. So Ali's going to share your info with us, Michelle, and we are going to include your flyer in our Hyde Park newsletter um, as well to promote what you're doing. Um, and we will definitely be in touch. <laughs> I appreciate that. Definitely. Let me know whatever I can do to help. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you, Allie. Okay. So now we can now start we can over. Executive? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we stop recording? Correct. Well, you, someone's got to make a motion to go on the executive. She did. Okay. I did. Oh. You, you made the motion? Yeah, I did. That would have been all discussion. Sorry, right? I missed that. Did someone second it? <laughs> We can start yeah, over if we, if we don't mind. <laughs> if we don't mind, you mean if you don't mind. If we don't mind. Yeah. Start over. Um, just start over. Just oh, motion sure. Motion to enter executive session per 1 BSA 313 A and B for contract and personnel. Inviting. Inviting. Inviting most of Justin Mason, Ali Judkins, and Dean Mock. Perfect. That's what I said. Second. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Thanks, Ron. No, we don't need it. Right. Good. All right. I second it. Sure. All in favor? Oh, all in favor. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Opposed, abstain. At least you guys are. I know. Jeez. <laughs> we try. Recording stop.
executive session at 853. Uh, does I, someone want to make a motion to approve the warrants? I'll second that. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstained. Done. Okay. Um, a motion to work with Stephen McDonald on the Lamar Kennel and to local agreement. I'll make that motion. Second. I'll second that. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstained. Awesome. And an update. The select board is working with the town staff and an internal candidate for the town administrative position and are working on updating the job description. Perfect. I'll make a motion. That was just an update. Oh, okay, perfect. But would you like to make a motion to adjourn? Yeah, yeah. motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you guys. Nine. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>